Welcome yes. back. Yeah, welcome back. And if it's your first time joining us, thank you. We hope you're going to enjoy this video and check out some of our other ones. I'm a little distracted right now, focusing on the road. Do I go left? You yep. Keep, yep. We're going to take Batty. Batty. Bad <laughs> Betty to her first drive-in movie. We're, they, we found a little campground that has a, I'd say it's kind of a historic drive-in theater. Yeah, we're excited to see what movie they're playing. And yeah hang out there and we hear that they give out free popcorn. Yeah, that's why we're here, <laughs> free popcorn. It's all about the popcorn. It's a KOA, Bad Betty's first time at a KOA. I should probably throw the plug in. Hey M&M's, if you're watching again, I bought some M&M's to throw in my popcorn. I'm still waiting on my M&M's. Yeah, I'm still waiting. <laughs> oh. Anyhow, we're about a half a mile out. We'll, oh, uh, wait a minute, it's right there. Oh, Flip actually, them around, yeah, let them see just, the barn. Let's just make it one little clip. So cool, here we are. This is Sutherland, Oregon, Umpqua Valley KOA Park. Looks like they have some tent camping as well. Well, these guys right here are the hot shots because we've got fires in Oregon. Oh, so if you nice. pan them around, you can see some of the rigs they use to control some of the fires. So they're going to be nice. camping there. Nice little setup. So here is check-in. We got reservations. We're kind of excited about that on this Labor Day weekend. Because we don't, I mean, we've done a few things, but we're typically not uh, in parks, per se. Oh, so this is going to be fun. All right. See you in a minute. Let's wow, see. What do we got going on? KOA. Thank you kindly. Oh, Melanie. Hi. <laughs> and there's some other folks. <laughs> and then, so to get to your site, so you guys are right there. Just go straight ahead. Take a left at our dog, uh, past your dog park area, past our movie screen, and then go down one, two, three. Rose, and it's a full through site. There Very we go. Nice. Our show Smokey the Bandit tonight. Oh, there we go. All right. We just asked you to make sure you're going five miles an hour throughout our party. We could do that. that. Can you catch the movie start? The movie will start at about 8 45. Okay. All kinds of goodies. Oh, cute. Also, we'll be um, selling candy and popcorn. Told you all there was free popcorn. Um, eight o'clock movie. Eight o'clock movie. You can actually go sit at, um, and there's propane fire pits. Cute. There's speakers down there. If you guys are going to be around in the morning, check out the 11 o'clock, but we are having a pancake breakfast next door in our clubhouse. So okay, there we go. Look at how tracker is. Y'all, we got popcorn breakfast and Smokey and the Bandit. <laughs> We're set. The place is already sold. <laughs> tech service in Texas, if you have any questions or awesome. concerns. Um, and then you got to let us know what your YouTube channel is. We will. Yes. There we go, there we go. Thank <laughs> you kindly. Yeah, Michelle's got her popcorn. Got our popcorn. Let's go get Bad Betty. Dump station, propane. Uh oh, look what we got in front of us. And, the movie uh, theater or a screen. And this RV drive in theater. Yeah. <laughs> I think this used to be called Highway Haven RV Park, and now it's owned by a KOA. They're doing a great job. They got this frisbee. Frisbee, yeah. frisbee disc. My seatbelt on. Getting kind of crazy in here. How cute is this? I love a good drive in. Oh, and that's where we're going to watch the movies, yeah. huh? And we got the chairs. Very nice. Very nice. I can't wait to fire up a burger. I know. Yeah, we're going to get going on some early dinner tonight. Mm-hmm. Haven't eaten. <laughs> some popcorn? Yeah, I'll take some of that popcorn. Pretty good. Both hands off the wheel. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Wild now, babe. On our row. We are going to Site 70. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's a toy hauler. All right, these are cool. You have your own built in patio. Yes, you do. And dining table. What's up, y'all? So, we're about to plug Bad Betty in. As you know, Bad Betty is fully off grid capable, lots of onboard power. But since we're here at an RV spot, we might as well do it. One of the things I just picked up off Amazon, which I'm sure most people carry one of these, but it's we probably only plugged in once or twice with Bad Buddy is I went ahead and picked up a surge protector. No particular brand that I'm modeling here right now. I just happened to grab one. This one was pretty affordable, 50 bucks. It suited the bill. So we're gonna get this in our cord and plug it in. And I'll just kind of show you guys briefly how that all happens. I'm sure most of you know, but just for kicks, we can do it. So stay tuned. So Bad Betty is a bit of a mess. We've been doing multiple travel things, but as you know, I, tep I tend to keep all my gear. These are a bunch of my tools. I've shown you all that before. This one right here is my full recovery gear, which is my dampening blanket, my kinetic rope, some waterproof gear, 
And what's really nice is these are just very convenient. You can find them on our associate site. And I got my Winnebago plugs, manuals, a bunch of dirty stuff up in here. So let's uh, let's talk about getting Bad Betty plugged in. So brand new surge protector, comes with a little deal there. And uh, we'll just get all set up. First thing I'm gonna do is get this plugged in. And one thing that you're gonna notice is after I plug her in, it's got a waterproof cover. Once I hit the breaker in here, this is gonna light up. It's then gonna tell me, there's our 30 amp breaker, if we have any trouble lights. So right now, as you can see, we got a green, blank red green, which means that there is nothing wrong. We have correct wiring. So I'm not nervous about connecting Bad Betty. Now, one might ask, why would I ever be nervous? Let's say there's a short in that box or something's miswired, or we got a grounding issue and I plugged her in. I could end up frying my system in here. And having that happen, whether you wanna talk about who's liable, who's not liable, I don't even wanna have that conversation. So as you can see, let's just threads right on here, just to lock it in, keeps it nice and firm. And it's gonna be pretty straightforward. I'm gonna plug her right into my surge protector. And what I might do just for kicks is I'm gonna kick this off. We've already tested it. I'm gonna plug in, I'm gonna let her hang. I'm gonna hit the breaker, 30 amp breaker. Double check my lights. We're looking good. And now Bad Betty, she's got all the power in the world. And uh, we'll talk more about this mess later. <laughs> so getting set up, she's getting her handy table all. Oh, I love this table. Together. It's everywhere. It's nice it's several narrow. videos. We actually even have an associate link on this on Amazon. It's pretty affordable. There's a couple things I actually love about this table besides it fits in the bag, just like you would have one of your little fold down chairs is it's lightweight, easy to assemble. But if you notice the feet here, they pivot around and you can tell we've been in sand and all kinds of other stuff. But let's say we had some uneven ground. I could easily just adjust the leg accordingly and it's gonna take the contour, if you will, of the ground. Mm -hmm. And then I'll set my height. And this one actually tonight is just gonna serve a good purpose of taking care of our trail fire grill because that's what we're gonna cook on. And then it's pretty much done. Typically, Michelle's in charge of this, but I got a little ahead of myself. And I think it's because I'm excited to walk around this park. So I'm kind of blasting through our setup where Michelle's like, every time she turns around, she's like, why are you done with something? But as you know, we talk about this a lot. This cooks pretty much 95, 99% of our food. So one of the things we had talked about previously is when you get your trail fire, it actually has a connection that's made for the 20 pound tank which I have a spare hookup version right here, hang tight. Ah, right here. And typically this is the connection in that you'd have so you could go to your tank directly. But what I've done, and you can find the link, is I've got a 12 foot adapter right here hose. And because the Winnebago Echoes, like some other vehicles, have an outdoor, if you will, outside plug here, right for your quick connect propane fitting is to just go like that, make sure it's locked in, then I can kick it on and it's over and we'll say we're hardwired. <laughs> Be roasting, well I should say roasting, but I'm gonna fry up some jalapenos and some habaneros. The other thing I love about this table is you can just drop your knife in here because that's what Shell's gonna be out here in a moment taking care of. We've got some sweet potato fries. Shell's already seasoned the burgers. Hey Shell. Ah. You gonna come on out and show them how you use your culinary skills? Oh yeah, my, my cutting skills. <laughs> Y'all have seen this one before. Or A plus. Hey, yeah. what are you carrying there, by the way? Look at my bad Betty cutting board. Sweet potato fries up in there. I think there's one trying to hang out in there. Get those moving around. And then I'm gonna drop the jalapenos in there. Uh, and while Shell's cooking, I should say cutting. Cut up. All right. Burgers are in here. We also got our green chili that my mom roasted. Mm, you guys smell that? Green chili. That's fire. Fresh yeah. roasted. All right, let's get to chopping. Let's do it. Oh, I love how you're doing this now. Yeah, it's handy. This table, boom. <laughs> I'm talking about. We get a little sizzle happening. Sizzle the onions. I think and, I might uh, cut them up a little different to go in there. Okay, whatever you think's best. It's looking good. All right, y'all. We'll catch you here shortly. 
So Shell is now going to check my habaneros out and my jalapenos. Good. Let's Tell them how you got a little bit of room here. What'd you do with that walk, Shell? We move it over. We scoot so it over. Kinda, oh, those are looking good. So what Shell's going to do is just kind of show move you that because that. we got our sweet potatoes done, we got yeah, our onions, onions done. She's going to pull that over. Even you can pull it even over more. Yeah. You got a lot of room. That's you good. got a lot of room. And we're going to put the fries over here. Very nice. Get it all together. All right, let's get it back a little bit because we're going to throw our burgers on now. Oh, we're yeah. going to keep all this warm. Burgers. Yep, right about there. Sure, it looks good. That looks good. Yeah, pull these off. I'll eat all one. All right, you're going to eat one. The let's habanero? do the challenge. If I can get a like or a thumbs up from right. everybody on our channel, boom, okay. right now, yep. I'm going in hard. Eat that. All right, you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's Are do it right ready? now. Okay, let's do, do it. Do it right now. We're trading hands. This is a legitimate roasted habanero, which means that all the oils whoo, have come out. Temperature hot too, so be careful. I want to show you guys. It's authentic. Cool. We're going to go with the seeds. Yeah, Ready? Blow on it first. You're not going to blow on it? Ugh. Mm. Are you is it hot? A little bee trying to get some too. It's okay. Let's see you handle it. Ooh. Whoa, sorry guys. I was just showing you that it was gone. <laughs> you know, like when people do that just that. to show. That's interesting. All right. It's good. Well, let's keep the camera rolling. You got your burgers? Yep, right up there. All right. Burgers. You want me to do it while you got All the camera right. rolling? I love to get those burgers on the grill. All right. So, Shell, what are you hooking up real quick? We are putting the roasted green chilies on the burgers. Very nice. Do you like it a little thicker or do you want me to make them? I feel like it's thicker. Yep, me too. I'm going to set it on there, each little there burger. Go. Thank you, Nanny. Absolutely. For roasting this for us. We're so lucky. Smell it. Mm. Now, Uncle Bill, if you're watching, you're in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Why don't you, uh, why don't you hook me up with some Christmas on this one? Yeah. yeah you're from New Mexico. Mm -hmm. You will? Yes, sir. <laughs> She's got her heat all regulated. Yeah. Bingo. Okay. Help you out right there. Right there we go. We, I, think we should I think it's perfect. Okay. I think yep. it's going to happen. Oh, it's working. You're keeping everything warm. Why? Yeah. Because you're able to slide that walk right on this over. This is what the trail fire looks. Arizona. Nice. It's, that's where I go every winter uh, by Lake Havasu. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. There. it's a one star park with four star people. So we could see the movie from our spot. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah. Not bad, but we are going to go over there and get a chair in a little bit. Yeah, I got are you going over there? Out there already. Oh, so we got to reserve a chair? No, I just oh, okay. took my own. Okay, awesome. Because it's a little more comfortable. Okay, yeah, awesome. Want well, to be a party? <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Dave. <laughs> yeah, pleasure to meet you, sir. Mm. I'm over there chatting. Jason's yeah, Shaw was hooking it up with too. Dave. Dave's actually, he's. I think he said he was going down to pick up also another harley yep we're gonna toast these buns mm -hmm. just a little bit that, that green chili underneath that you know what we should do should we throw the onions on now sure okay let's do it okay those oh. are, either way it's all gonna go in our tummy yeah all right i think they're about ready really take a peek yep perfectly perfectly toasted all right eat let's do it let's see if dave wants a burger we're gonna see if dave wants a burger <laughs> ready go tap on his door he's right there Okay. You want a burger? It's a Hatch really New green? Mexico green chili burger with cheese. God damn yeah, right. Want to do it? Four of All right. Come on <laughs> over. I got plates. <laughs> do you like green chili? I love green chili. Ooh, his mom. Stuff hot his, oh, good. oh, really? You make good. A match. Good.
Don't stop, turn it up. Don't stop, turn it up. Don't stop, turn it up. Nice little cabins for rent too. Oh, a little double decker. Yeah, yeah a little double decker. It must have a nice little loft in there. Very cute. What's up? We're chilling with Bad Betty in the back, waiting for the movie. What movie show? Smokey and the Bandit. Smokey. All right, time to go to the movies. We actually saved the place already, which might be a little weird, but we did so. Ah, uh, slim picking. It's filling up, Dave. <laughs> Fun! I'm so excited. We got our fire going. We got the previews. Smoky and the Bandit. All right. Getting a little, a little darker. Look at that. It's a beautiful sunset behind it also. What a beautiful night. This place is so cute. <laughs> Look at this. Free popcorn. And you can get yourself some concessions. Check out the movie and stay coasty by the fire. Now for the goodies. Put those in there, babe. And then there, shake them up. Look at that. Oh, I just wore half of it. That's how you do it. M&M's and popcorn. This place is so cool literally from our little spot. We can see the drive-in movie theater. It's definitely a must. We left the lights on so we don't get lost. Good night, Dave. <laughs> Have a good one. Good morning. What's happening? Good morning. We are headed to the recreation room slash uh, clubhouse. clubhouse banquet room area where we're told via text and some other messages that they have complimentary hotcakes. So we're going to head on in here and... <laughs> Get us some good breakfast. Or grub on. Right here at this beautiful campground. Right here. And there's our movie theater from last night. Yeah. Shell's going on in. Nice. Check this out. Oh, look at all that. That looks good. I'm going to show everybody how amazing that looks. Gary. All right. Gary, these are perfectly fluffy. Look at those. Yeah, that's true. Yep. The chef. Absolutely. <laughs> Shell, why don't you do your happy dance? <laughs> Whenever she eats, she likes something. She just does that. <laughs> uh, Look at that. Round two for sure. Nice, flaky, fluffy pancakes. Till next time. Thank you, Catherine and Melanie and Gary and Michelle and Michael in maintenance. Our stay was awesome and wonderful and you have a beautiful, beautiful campground. We'll see you again. Cheers. Cheers. Well, here we are at the Sutherland KOA right here in the Umqua Valley. And as you can see behind us, uh, some of the fire, uh, the tankers, if you will, the water trucks, because there's a lot of fires going on in the area here. Not necessarily so close, but just in the outskirts. But one of the things I want to share with you that I thought was pretty inspiring and pretty cool is this particular campground, and maybe there's others in the area,
their focus has been on supporting the firefighters and making things as comfortable as they can for the times that they need to leave and change shifts. And by saying that, is yes, we have some of the tent spots over here for the folks that are sleeping during the evening. But my understanding is the chiefs have brought in some of their own campers and campers that people have allowed to be used for the folks that need to sleep during the day yeah. so they can get a good rest. The other thing is if we pan back over here where we were having breakfast, we learned from Michelle and Gary when we saw a lot of different food and soap and towels and things that by supporting the firefighters, what they've done here is they've made everything possible for them to shower, have soap, clean towels, have a place to come in and cook. They've given them the keys to the, the area that they can prep food in so that they can do everything as much as possible to make things as best as they can for these firefighters that are risking life and limb, if you will. The other thing I wanted to say is uh, the gals in here when we checked in were just phenomenally nice. The whole campground is super clean. Everybody down to every staff member you would meet is welcoming, very friendly. So if you're in the area, I highly, highly recommend you drop by, check out Sutherland, Umpqua Valley's KOA, say hello to everyone. Melanie inside who checked us in. Yeah, she's she was just a dear, very kind, walked us through everything. Get a drive-in movie in, you don't yep. do that every drive day. Drive-in movie, you'll see that as well. We watched uh, Burt Reynolds. Smokey and the Bandit. Smokey and the Bandit. And what's the gal's name? The Sally Field. Sally Field, so we'll have some glimpses of that. But Good stuff. Again, if you're gonna spend your money somewhere, I'd say spend it here because they're already giving so much of it back to the community, which really says a lot about this KOA. So thank you all.